Well, I mean, we can't we can't get ourselves down a big number. The second quarter has been a little bit of a problem for us this this season, uh, especially as of late. Uh, seems like in that first half we were playing we were playing in mud, and then we got down on ourselves when we didn't make any shots, and then we we're turning the ball over, and giving them easy opportunities. But I thought it, it switched with uh, I thought Garrison came in, Mo came in, and, and Ish came in, and they changed the. Uh, the narrative of feeling getting down on yourself. You have to play hard. You got to play hard and, and create um, opportunities. I thought they did that with their deflections, with their steel, with their pace. They played hard on both ends of the floor. They weren't worried about making and missing a shot. They just played the right way. It gave us a chance. Uh, we cut it to we cut it to four, uh, but it's hard to come back uh, from that large of a deficit and, and have enough juice and energy to to, to get over that hump. But Guys are going to play hard, and we just got to figure out how we can do it consistently um, throughout the game. What made you reach for Garrison on the bench in the third there? Uh, we needed a spark. I mean, one thing about Garrison, uh, he's going he's gonna to compete. Uh, he's hungry. Uh, probably should have played him earlier uh, in the season. Uh, but those are, those are things that you, know, you got to – everybody's going to get a chance. and. He got a chance, and I thought he took advantage. He wasn't worried. I mean, he, he can he can shoot the ball. He, he draws fouls. He plays hard. I, what gave him minutes tonight was the, I knew he was going to blow up screens. I knew he was going to uh, chase his man around. I knew he wasn't going to worry about, you know, getting screened. He was going to make the choice that he's going to fight through everything. That's what I love about him. He's probably going to get some more opportunities. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Fred. Scott, wh why have you guys struggled so much to be consistent for 48 straight minutes? Uh, that's that's the that's the question that we're myself or staff or team we're all trying to figure that out. We're trying to become consistent. There's stretches of the game on both ends of the floor. We're amazing. There's stretches on the end and offensively we're incredible. There's stretches where we're just incredible on the defensive end. We haven't been able to sustain it long enough to to put together and string together some wins. And we're, we're right there. I'm not, I know we have enough. I know the room is capable of doing and, and we're gonna have to just keep, keep climbing and click, keep plugging away. And, but that's definitely, it's been, a, it's been an issue is being able to find that consistency throughout, throughout the game. And, and uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, Brad ended up kind of relatively obviously compared to the first three going cold for a second straight night. Is, is there anything that you're noticing there uh, that's improvable or do you just consider that two things that happened? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's a tough decision. Uh, it's, it's on me. It's really on me. I, I try to get him some extra minutes because we, we were right there. We were cutting the lead and, and that's why we got to establish somebody, somebody on that wing off the bench that can that can generate some action and so Brad can get some some throughout the game rest and he's been playing probably three or three minutes too many uh, and it, it doesn't sound like a lot but it does add up and he's at you know, 38 tonight I like to try to keep him in the 35 range um, but again tonight same thing that happened the other night but we still had a chance, you know what? We gotta, we gotta, we, you know, it's unfortunate we missed two important threes and then they came down and hit one and we missed a layup, uh, but it made it interesting. But those are things we just gotta get over. We gotta keep staying positive because we're right there. And the thing I love about the guys, we're gonna keep competing. We're not gonna point fingers. We're not gonna blame anybody. We're gonna keep focusing on um, making winning plays for one another. Chase. Scott, what did you make of Rui's night and the difference between the, the first half and the second half for him? It seemed like he made some adjustments offensively. Yeah, no, I thought he, I thought he um, did a better job of competing. I thought he was just playing. Like if it was just a normal game, uh, it's not a normal game. We all get paid to, to, to play hard and play well and, and compete. And I thought in that second half, he kind of, whether he was running in mud or wasn't locked in, I don't know. Uh, I haven't talked to him about it, but I know you, 
I uh, said a few things at halftime, and, and I thought he came he came out with the with the right mindset. You have to do that. You we we all have to do that. That's what we do. That's what we do. And like I said, we got to figure out the, the second quarter. Um, but Rui was a different player in the, the first half and the second half. We need we need Rui in the second half throughout the game. And then uh, for Denny to go uh, scoreless and play fewer minutes, um, was this one of those nights where you can identify the, the learning curve for him? Well, he's going to have a lot of these nights. It's a, it's a rookie. He just turned 20 years old, you know, a week ago. Um, he has to go through it, and it builds it builds mental toughness. Because he wants to play, and he wants to play well. Um but he's still understanding how, how we do things and how we play and how the league is, it's the tendencies. Um, and he's going to be fine But because he's a tough kid. He's a tough kid, and I like that about him, but he's not going to have, you know, 30 minutes uh, every any any given night if he doesn't if he doesn't play well, but he's going to get a crack at it, and tonight wasn't his night. But he'll, be, he'll bounce back tomorrow night. Neil? Hey, Scott, uh, obviously, you know, always a difficult matchup to try and guard Jason Tatum. You guys had Brad on him a lot of the night. Curious, he's given up, you know, maybe close to five inches there. What's the game plan there? Brad's one of the best defenders on our team. and He likes the challenge. Um, I thought he, thought he did a pretty good job. We need to, that's what we've been trying to find, that, that guy that can guard um, – one of their better players on the opposing team. We haven't been able to find that guy. And I know Brad and and Russell and, and Denny had it cracks at him, but I thought Brad was the best matchup for him. Take a couple more, Fred. Scott, I, I'm just wondering at, at what point do you feel like at what point do you feel like you you feel compelled to make some sort of a major change, whether it's a lineup change or a scheme change or anything along those lines? Yeah, I mean, we we made some changes. You know, it's we made some subtle changes that we have to continue to work on and build on. We're right there. I mean, we just have to – we have to – we've been – I mean, even tonight, even though we were down big, we cut it to four, that's a bunch of time left. We've been right there all season. So the, the, the thing, we, it seems like every game, the last Sixer game, we, we gave them two and ones and a wide open three uh, and down the stretch. Can't do that. Tonight, turned the ball over too many times. We had open looks. We didn't convert. Uh, I don't think you can change anything by getting open looks and not making making them. You just have to you miss a couple of threes and a layup. Uh, we're always going to keep looking and, and figuring out ways how we can improve. and. Maybe maybe a lineup change. Maximilian. Thank you. Hey, Coach. Um, I would like to know what's your take on Moritz Wagner and Isaac Bonga's performance tonight and throughout the season so far. Um, Bonga, he just has to stay ready. I thought he, he came in and gave us good energy. Just we got down. I mean, the group that he was with uh, did not play particularly well. But that second quarter, it seemed like we've been searching and figuring out how to play better. Um, he's a young, developing player that's going to be in the league for a long time. He's a great kid that works hard. He needs to continue to build strength in his body and develop his uh, three-point shot. And Wagner? Mo. Yeah, yeah. Mo is Mo's. Mo's a worker. He's a, he competes, does a lot of good things. Um, he still, still has to be able to control his, his uh, sometimes his fouling, and but he I like how he plays. It's just right now we have a couple of centers in, ahead of him. There's going to be certain nights where he plays, and there's going to be certain nights where he doesn't. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Last guys. question. Oh, all right. Thanks, coach. Oh, you got one more. I got one. Yeah, one, one more from Matt. Uh, hey, coach. A couple times in the first half, you had guys leave shooters to double the post. Is that a miscommunication, or is that part of the game plan? Any, any well, when they, were, they, were post, they were they were posting up. They were posting up um, Tatum, where we front, but we have to the backside. We miscommunicated on the backside. 
and a couple of times uh, we were guarding the wrong guys, but those are those are things that we have to grow grow through and and get better with. And I know as this, we we will. It's not we're not trying to leave open three point shooters. We did a much better job in the second half, but it was we weren't we were we were running around with a purpose, and that's why we only gave up. You know, I think what fifty points. You know, like you guys know, I think the defense is a key. You know. You know, that, that was the third quarter when we came back. You know, it was obviously we got like a five stop in a row on the time. And that's all we kept going, you know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Just I think defense is key. Win the game, yeah. Chase. Rui, uh, what changed for you from the first half uh, to the second half offensively, you individually? Uh, I just have to be aggressive more, you know. Uh, obviously, Brad and the rest is the um, the ones attacking the rim, uh, trying to score. But, you know, I think they need the help to, like, you know, or, like, you know, me, TB, Danny, DB. You know, we need more, like, a, you know, ball movement and stuff. And then, you know, um, just gotta like you know more flow and stuff, and that's why I try to be more aggressive and uh, you know um, that's I think that's what I did. And you guys um, are off to uh, the same start as you were last year through nine games. What gives you hope that you guys can ultimately be a better team this year? Uh, I feel like you know uh, every each game you know we have a quarter. Like, you know, give up like a 50 point, 40 point. Um, and then we came back. And then, you know, the fourth quarter, the five, last five minutes, we didn't, you know, just finish strong, you know. Um, we just got to cut the quarter that we have, like, you know, just give up like 50 or 40 points, you know, each game. Uh, I think those are key, you know, at least we got to, um, you know, Defense, like, you know, is those are key, like, you know, and they rebound the keys to win the games, I think. Yeah. Neil. Hey, Rui. Uh, Scott told us that, you know, he said something um, maybe to you specifically in halftime. I'm curious, just what was he reminding you of? Is it just more to be aggressive? And um, can you take us through that? Um, I think more defensively, you know, um, the first half, we were kind of just like, you know, we are being active, you know. Uh, they, those Jalen and Jason, they can do, they could do like do whatever they want. And then in the second quarter, second half, you know, we talk about, you know, let's try to, you know, put the ball to other guys. And that's why we're trying to, we're trying to help. And then I think that's what, you know, the third quarter, we, we, we had a camp back. Uh, a great comeback, and then you know that's why I think yeah the defense was a key to the third quarter. Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, honestly, I don't know. As, I mean, we all know it's our defense, but I don't know why it's our defense. We, at this point, man, we can't guard a park car. Chase. Brad, obviously you guys have high hopes for the season, but you have the same record through nine games that you did last year. Uh, what gives you hope that you guys will ultimately become a better team and prove that you are better than you were last year? The way we played in the second half. I mean, there's two different teams that were out there. There's two different teams that were out there. And we're in the second half. We play with energy. Coach put guys out there that haven't got burned all year. And they gave us the spark that we needed. So I think moving forward, a lot of things will be changing in terms of our lineup. But I'm always optimistic. You know, I'm confident in my game. I'm confident in, in the team I'm on. I'm always going to be for my guys.
Um, and I'm always going to be confident that we can turn it around, you know, it's, but eventually you run out of games. You do run out of games. So we can't keep standing too early. We can't keep saying on to the next one. You know, we got to make that change and we got to, we got to compete better than what we are. Fred. Brad, what's, I mean, you touched on it a little bit just now, but what's, what's the balance between not pressing but also making sure that you actually do have some urgency in turning it around. Um, stuff is a fine line, it's a fine line. Because uh, it kind of go hand in hand, you know, you you don't want to necessarily press, but at the same time, you know, we want results. Everybody wants results, you know, not just me, Coach does, damn sure Ted does, and, you know, Shep. So we, we got to be, we got to realize that you know, we we need all hands on deck and we gotta be better, you know, because a lot of things are a lot of expectations are are high for us. You know, we had those for ourselves, those expect those same expectations, you know, we're not fulfilling them. You know, we're giving spurts, we're showing our hand, we're too inconsistent. And uh, I think that's what hurts us. Brad, you meant you mentioned lineup changes. Is that just something you're saying because of the you know, the extra guys Scott threw out there, or is that is there is there anything to expand on with that? Uh, I don't know. It's just me talking. Like I can, I just know Coach Brooks. You know, uh, being with him for now five years, he's he's gonna play guys that play hard. That's you know, he don't give a damn about you guys making shots um, or anything like that. He wants guys that are gonna defend, know their role, play hard, and you know, go out there and give it their give it their all. That's that's all he's looking for. He's is, and that and the thing is, it's not hard. We're NBA players. I think. I love JJ Watts quote. He said a couple weeks ago, like we're paid to have the best job in the world. You know, we got to get ourselves ready night in and night out. You know, we shouldn't be asked to play hard. You know, playing hard comes with that, those couple million dollars that you're getting in your pocket. You know, that's, that's, that's required of you. So playing hard shouldn't be something that we should be, you know, having to continue to harp on. It's, you know, playing with some smarts at this point. Chase. Um, Brad, obviously, you know Jason Tatum very well, and, and you were guarding him very closely in that first half, and, and he was still able to to get hot. What can be done against a player like him at this point with how complete of a scorer he is? Oh, man, it's, it's a tough guard. It is a tough guard. I, like you said, I've been knowing Jason since he was in diapers, um, and I'm always, I always know every time we play him, I have the matchup. You know, I, I know him very well, but he's he's six nine, and I'm every bit of six three. You know, I'm strong. I can hold my own, but shit, it comes to a point where you, there's nothing you can do. You know, I, all I can do is get a hand up, make it tough for him, make him work for every basket, uh, which is what I think I tried to do in the beginning. You know, but he's he's a basket. You know, he's he's one of the best players in the league for a reason. So, you know, I, I'm a huge fan. You know, I always put him above everybody, but there's a number of respect. From both of us, you know, I tried to make it hard on him, but he still he's got a great game. Russ, first of all, how was it managing uh, the finger with the tape on it as you played? You know, it is what it is. And uh, as you guys are off to this disappointing start, what gives you hope that you guys are better than your record is or can ultimately prove to be the team that you thought you would be? Um, just how we play through our games. We, we're in every game. It's not like we're not in every game. So that's the best part about it. Put yourself a chance to win a game. One or two possessions. Fred. Hey, Russ. Uh, Scott mentioned your guys' struggles in the second quarter. Is there any reason that you see for why those have consistently popped up in that quarter specifically? I'm you know, just not getting no stops. Can't get stops. Simple as that. Don't know how to get stops and defend. 